In today's video, I want to talk about how much ADA in order to potentially become a Cardano millionaire. However, before I continue on any further, please keep in mind that I am not a financial advisor. And also on top of that, this video is not meant as an invitation to buy, sell, or trade cryptos. So please just keep that in mind. These are all just hypothetical scenarios. And also, I want to mention how the current price of ADA at this point is at $0.30, cents, and the market cap is sitting at $10.6 billion. It also currently has a circulating supply of 78%. So just keep in mind that as the circulating supply changes, these calculations may be affected as well. And now with all that being said, I want to talk about some hypothetical millionaire scenarios. And if we take a look at this right here, if ADA were to reach the price of $3, it would be a 10x from here. And at that point, you would need to own around 333,000 ADA in order to become a millionaire if ADA were to hypothetically reach the price of $3 and 333,000 ADA at the time of this recording is worth around $100,000. And I know that I said that some people may be thinking, oh wow, $100,000, I mean, that's a lot. And I agree, right? You know, a lot of people don't even have that much in their entire crypto portfolio, let alone one single crypto. But I will say this, you know, regardless, if someone doesn't even have $100,000 to put in ADA, I think even regardless of that, ADA just going to the price of $3, that's already a 10X. You know, hypothetically speaking, if I were to put $1,000 into ADA right here right now, and ADA were to just go to the price of $3, I would have managed to turn my $1,000 into $10,000, which I think is insane. And now, of course, with $10,000, that is not millionaire status yet, but I still think it's good nonetheless. And the next milestone I want to talk about when it comes to ADA is ADA at the price of $5, which, by the way, is a 16x from here. And at that point, in order to become a millionaire, you would need to own 200,000 ADA, which currently is worth $60,000. And do I think that ADA will reach $5 in the future? Yes, I do. And let me explain why. And one of the main reasons why I think so is because I believe that Cardano is fundamentally amazing. Cardano is fast, it's secure, it's scalable, and it's highly decentralized as well. Currently, Cardano has over 3,000 validators, which I think is something to behold, especially when you compare it to other layer one blockchains out there. For example, you take a look at Solana, you take a look at Avalanche, they don't even have 2,000 validators yet. But Cardano has already achieved that. Cardano, again, right, has over 3,000 validators. And also on top of that, currently, there is over 1,000 projects building on Cardano, which I think is very impressive. So when I consider just how special Cardano is, I do believe that ADA during the next bull run will have no issues reaching the price of $5. And now I want to talk about the next price target for ADA, and that is ADA at the price of $10, which, by the way, is a 32x from here. In order to become a millionaire at that point, you will need to own 100,000 ADA, which at the time of this recording is worth $30,000. And do I think that ADA can reach $10 during the next bull run? Yes, I do. And let me explain why I think so. And the reason why I think so is because I believe that Cardano has a very bright future. And I believe that it is heading in the right direction. As of right now, Cardano has a staking ratio of over 71%. And now some of the Cardano haters out there, they may not think that is impressive. But in reality, a staking ratio of over 71% is higher than Avalanche, Polkadot, Phantom, Near, and Polygon. So I think Cardano's staking ratio is truly something special. And when I take a look at Cardano's native token called ADA, currently there is over 2 million ADA holders, which I think is very impressive. However, it doesn't end there because I think the cherry on top when it comes to Cardano is the fact that Cardano is very environmentally friendly. In fact, Cardano is 47,000 times more energy efficient than Bitcoin which I think is very astounding. So when I take into consideration how special Cardano is, I don't see why it will not reach $10 during the next bull run. And now I want to talk about an even bigger milestone for ADA, and that is ADA at the price of $15. And now some people may think, oh, wow, ADA at the price of $15. Oh, that's crazy. You know, some of the Cardano haters out there, they may think that. But in reality, I don't think $15 for ADA is that outlandish. In fact, I do believe that it's actually quite a feasible goal. And let me explain why. First of all, ADA at the price of $15 would only mean that it would only have a market cap of around $525 billion. And some people may think, oh, wow, around $525 billion. Oh, that's so ridiculous. 
this. But here's the thing, $525 billion is actually not even what Ethereum reached back at its peak in 2021. Ethereum back in 2021 actually had a market cap that was considerably higher than that. And now if ADA needed, you know, a $5 trillion market cap or a $7 trillion market cap or something crazy like that in order to reach $15, then yeah, I get why it's unrealistic. But around $525 billion, I don't think it's that unrealistic. You know, we have seen a layer one blockchain in the case of Ethereum with far less fundamentals than Cardano actually reach much higher than that in terms of market cap. And also there are many bullish metrics out there that show how ADA could very well reach the price of $15 during the next bull run. For example, if we take a look at this, we will see that as of right now, there is more than 420 million people in the world owning cryptos. And what that means right there is that currently there is more people than ever before in history owning crypto. And just to put this into context, if we take a look back in history, back in 2021, when Bitcoin was at $68,000, when the whole crypto space overall was popping off, when everything was euphoric, when altcoins were having that massive rally, you know, when all of that was going down, there was only around 300 million people owning cryptos in the world. So just imagine this, right? If back then the whole crypto space overall was still able to have that massive rally, despite only having around 300 million people owning cryptos, just imagine what the next bull run could potentially look like, especially now that we have over 420 million people owning cryptocurrencies. You know, during the next bull run, the FOMO, the buying pressure, the buying volume, that could all very well be at an all-time high. And I strongly do believe that during the next bull run, Bitcoin is going to go to at least the price of $100,000. I strongly do believe that. And when that happens, altcoins, they're just going to go through the roof. And I think ADA will be no different. I think ADA is going to go along with the ride. So overall, when I consider just how amazing Cardano is, when I consider its fundamentals, when I consider its use case, and also last but not least, when I consider just how massive the next bull run could potentially be, you know, when I take all of that into account, I truly do believe that ADA will have no issues reaching high prices during the next bull run. I wouldn't be surprised whatsoever if ADA during the next bull run reached the price of $15. I do believe that Cardano is just that extraordinary. And now I want to shift gears real quick and talk about some recent news about Cardano. And that is the fact that not too long ago, the SEC, when they sued Binance, they claimed that, you know, ADA, Solana, Mana, San, and a bunch of other cryptos are securities. And when that news came out, you know, a lot of people, they got spooked about ADA. They were saying, oh man, you know, is ADA done for? But for the people who are concerned by that, I just don't get it because personally I am not. And the reason why I am not is because let's say, right, if I buy ADA, it does not mean that I own any part of Cardano. That is not the case whatsoever. ADA, in my opinion, does not meet the definition of a security. It's much like XRP, right? You know, the SEC thinks that XRP is a security, but also when it comes to XRP, I also don't think it's a security. When I buy XRP, it does not mean that I own any part of Ripple. Both XRP and ADA, in my opinion, do not meet the definition of a security. And also, the SEC, they are just alleging that ADA is a security. You know, it doesn't mean that ADA is actually a security. It actually has to be proven. And that whole process, it's going to take a while. You know, it's going to take years. So I don't see why people are concerned by this. And also, on top of that, people are concerned that Robinhood is delisting ADA. But in my opinion, I just don't understand why. Think about this, right? ADA is listed in over 80 exchanges worldwide. Why are they concerned about Robinhood delisting ADA? Makes no sense. Again, right, there's over 80 exchanges and they're concerned that one is delisting ADA? Makes no sense. A lot of other cryptos out there that haven't even been listed on a major exchange ever were still able to have a massive bull run back in 2021. You know, a lot of other cryptos out there have never even been listed on Robinhood in the past and they've done just fine. And I think ADA will be no different moving forward. I think what's going on with ADA right now is largely overblown. I personally believe that ADA will still do amazing during the next bull run. I think that ADA has unbelievable potential. And if you want to check out a very interesting video, make sure to go ahead and click on this thumbnail right here. It's a very fantastic video and I think you all would really love it.